will the narcissist do better with the new supply? Will they do better? Will they act differently with someone else? If you are watching this video, it's probably because you invested a lot into the narcissist. You invested a lot of your time, energy or money. You did a lot for them. You endured a painful or uncomfortable experience. You suffered because you didn't realize your worth. You didn't realize what you were really deserving of. Because if you had known the value of what you had given to the narcissist, you would then expect a certain type of treatment. You would expect to be treated with more respect. People normally treat valuable items with respect because they understand their value. They understand what it's worth. So they understand the special treatment that it deserves. But the narcissist invalidates everything that you do for them. They make you feel like nothing you did was enough for them. Nothing you did was right. So now you begin to criticize yourself. You begin to question if maybe you didn't do things right. Maybe you could have done more. When if you look back and really look at everything you did for them, you did more than enough. You treated them like a king or a queen, but you were still invalidated. You were still made to feel like you wasn't good enough, but they still continued to stick around. Why would they want to be around someone who isn't good enough? Who isn't treating them right? Who isn't doing enough for them? The truth is, you possess more value than you know. You possess more value that they have led you to believe. And that is why they pursued you. That is why they have taken you into their possession. That is why they want to keep you as their property. They're not going to keep something that has no value. They're not going to have an interest in something that has no use to them. But they have managed to trick you into seeing yourself as less than what you are. So now you don't feel like you're valuable. Now you feel like you have to work to satisfy them. When in most relationships with narcissists, they don't even come in with anything. They don't have anything to give to you. Yet they have the arrogance and the audacity to criticize what you're bringing to the table. 
when they haven't provided anything of value to you. But you're having to drive yourself into the ground to provide everything that they want and maintain their illusion of perfection. You have to be polite and kind to ensure that they are satisfied with you. And because you're so busy working to keep them happy, you don't realize that there's no equal exchange. It's all one sided. You get the scraps from them. while they get everything that you have to offer. You're pushing yourself, doing everything you can to please them, day after day, trying to satisfy someone who cannot be satisfied. And that's why they feel like nothing you do is ever enough. They're always going to be demanding more from you. Even though what you've done for them was incredible. It was more than anyone could ask for. But they invalidated you and made you feel as though you're not good enough. And this then creates an inferiority complex within you. When the relationship is finally over, you feel completely worthless. You feel as though you will never be enough for anyone or anything. And you think that's the reason why they discarded you for someone else. Because they always told you that you couldn't do anything right. They always told you that nothing you did was ever enough. And when you were given your attention and consideration to their criticisms and put downs, it was affecting your self esteem. You could no longer recognize the value that you possess. The value that you already possessed before you met them. When they leave you for someone else, you assume that they're going to find someone who is going to be enough for them. You assume that they're going to be happy with someone else. And that's exactly what they want you to think. But the reason why the narcissist leaves is because you start catching on. You start becoming aware of what they're doing, what they're really about. And you start to get tired. You were giving them everything they wanted, but you weren't being fed anything back in return. You weren't being given the fuel that you needed to perform. You were burnt out. You didn't have the energy or motivation to give anything to them. And that is why you could no longer perform at the level that you did before. The level that they desired and expected from you. But since they don't have anything to give, they can't build you up to the level that you were before. All they can do is take. So they have to go and find someone else 
who has a fresh supply of energy. Someone who has plenty to give. Someone who isn't going to need much in return. That does not mean that they have changed. That does not mean that they are doing better with someone else. They do not change. They only get worse. If it was that simple for them to move on with someone else and then suddenly change, there would be less and less narcissists. The numbers would be decreasing. They can't just meet someone else and then change will be better. They've just burned you out. So that now they've gone to look for a fresh supply of energy. Which they will then begin to use up. And once they've used everything that they've got to offer. They're on to the next person. It just goes on and on. They never get better. They just get worse. It's an addiction that just demands more and more. You need to raise your vibrations. You need to restore yourself to your former level or condition. Then you will begin to see them differently. Then you will begin to have more energy and motivation. Once you get your vibration back to where it's supposed to be, once you start to do you again, your perception will change and you will feel good again. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at noxhavacoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.